That was a big one. Oh, look, there's two of them chasing. chasing yeah. You make this into patties, and when you make this into patties, it creates a chum that goes in the water and spreads in the water. Check it out. You see it's a mix of a bunch of stuff, I don't know what's in it, but it works, alright? So I'm going to show you how to make it right quick before we head out, alright? So well, there's a three different bait binders, this is the bait binder, the original. This is what I like to use here. Unfortunately, the cats, something got into it, alright? The bag's messed up. Then we got the uh, old chum crumble right here for chumming. I might use this later on. We'll see what happens. We got more bait binder. All right, so we're gonna make some patties, throw them out the pier for shrimp. All right, as you can see, there's already some uh, bait binder in there. We're gonna pour some more. Because we're gonna use a lot of patties to surround this entire pier. Where we're going. Here we go. Check it out, it's a lot right there. All right, so this is what we're using here, the Bait Binder original. So we already ran out, the cats ate it. So we pour some other one without the label on there. But this is it right here, Bait Binder, the original. This is what you need right here. All right, we're gonna pour some water. Let's try that, that's about a, about a cup right there. And uh, we're gonna mix it around. Check it out, yo, this, is, this stuff is nasty. It works. Mix it around. It has to be uh, firm, not too wet, but not dry also. All right, this looks good right here. So what we do is, see it's all sticky and stuff. This is gonna be a huge patty right here. Check it out, yo. This might be too big, so let's take it apart. All right, this, this is good right here. It's messy, all right? Do it outside. Here's one patty right here. Perfect. Check it out. That's one patty, what you do here, Make it into a patty, throw it into your bear, into your bay, wherever you're gonna be using it at. Make it into a patty, do not ball it up, it starts to roll with the current. In the water, you throw it in there, and then all the current and all the movement, what it does, it stirs the patty around. And you see all that, how the water's getting dirty? That there, that's what happens in the water. And all the shrimp, crabs, fish, mud, everything, it starts to swim in here and eating it. Let's go. Patties in. Here's the first patty. Check it out, y'all. So now we loaded the entire area with bait binder patties. We're gonna come back in a few hours. We're gonna cast it and watch. We're gonna load up on shrimp, wood, everything, all right? Our morning the conditions look really good for mackerel and pompano. So we're gonna keep these mullet and shrimp inside the house where it's cool 
and hopefully they survive to tomorrow because I, I just I have a feeling that tomorrow it's going to be fire. All right, so we are back at the spot, and hopefully, uh, after the bait has settled in here, dissolved a lot of its product, we should have uh, some good luck here, all right? So hopefully we'll get a bunch of shrimp. We need to mull it also for tomorrow as we go fishing, so uh, we should do good, all right? Let's get the cast in there and see what happens. Look at all y'all, big ass mold right here. It's like a 16 inch mold right here. Smells good. It got that distinct smell. Ugh. Looks like we got a gigantic mullet. Two big mullet and a pinfish. Great bait. Check it out. Perfect. Let's put them out right here. Bait right there. Look how big this mold is, y'all. Look, it's huge. Check out another one. That's four already. Look like we got something in here. Oh, we got a lot of shrimp. It's, look at like they're jumping all over the place now. All over the place. Oh my God, look at that. Look at all this shrimp. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. Look at that, look at that. Jackpot. Look at that, y'all. Oh my God. Look at all this shrimp. We're gonna quickly fill up this cooler. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I just launched another shrimp off. I feel them. This like you feel like they feel like pop rocks in here. I feel them. A lot of them. Hell yeah, I feel them. Look at that. They're jumping. Look at that. Oh my god. There's so many in here. Oh, we got something in here. Oh, we got a lot of shrimp. Look at they're jumping all over the place now. All over the place. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at all this shrimp. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. Every cast, we're getting shrimp. Check it out, y'all. One cast net. Nah. Man, this is like... He likes to watch it. Yeah. Look at that. Ah, this is a little one. <laughs> Lazy fish. Didn't even fight. 
I'm Black the Beach. <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. What's going on, man? Well, I just bleed them just in case someone comes up here and says something bullshit about mutilating fish before getting to the shore. About what? So I just, I mean, yeah, you, 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 should, you, you should cut the toe, but I just do that just in case some game warden comes over here and says that I need to, like, not mutilate the fish before they see it or some shit. <laughs> so mine should be fine in the water on the stream, huh? There they are, look at that. Oh. 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 That was a big one. That's a big one, dude. I'm gonna need the net for this one. All right, excuse me, this is a big one. Mike Long. Mike Long. Oh yeah. There we go. That one hit it pretty hard, man. Thick. That one's real thick. Wow. This is a real thick one. Nice. This was real thick, man. This is a nice one. Yes. How big is this one? Like 25? I don't know. It's not letting me measure it. Oh shit, dude. No, don't go under the pier. Huh? I'm gonna, uh, well, no, nah, I'm gonna flip it. I just don't wanna hit anybody. Got a soft plastic macro. Oh, look, there's two of them chasing. chasing yeah. Seeing that shrimp.
here in Texas, this phenomenon is extremely rare, especially in the upper Texas coast. Galveston is known for really dirty brown water, um, <laughs> fecal matter, um, necrotizing fasciitis, and all this other stuff. But, like in this video, there are a few times, a handful of times throughout the year that the water gets really clean, crystal clean, kind of like the panhandle. But for that to happen, you have to have the right conditions. And the right conditions have to line up. You gotta have a subtle southeast or east wind, very subtle for a few days. The offshore currents have to match up. The salinity has to be high. No, no long periods of rain for a while because once it starts raining, all the stuff from Galveston Bay, the Buffalo Bayou, all the floodwaters from Houston empty into the Buffalo Bayou. The Buffalo Bayou empties into Galveston Bay. And then that goes out into Galveston. That will make it really dirty, really fast and fresh. So every time that the water gets clean like this, you got to get out there and enjoy it. Unfortunately, there isn't really a formula to follow. You know, it's really hard to predict these types of conditions. My formula usually is no rain for a bit. Subtle southeast, south or east winds for a few days. And eventually, once the tide starts to come in, the, the cleaner offshore water starts to come in. And when that happens, the mackerel and other pelagic fish start to show up. One of the things that I wanted to show y'all is, this is important right here, you got to cut the tail and bleed them out. Alright, this makes them less fishy. You got to bleed them out, alright? These are super easy to fillet. And check out, this is a, uh, this is a big mackerel, alright? But this is a Spanish mackerel, and the way you know that it has, not only does it have the yellow spots, but the main thing is this. See this right here? This has to be black. If it's not black, it's not a mackerel. It's for a king or a cereal mackerel, all right? Look at that, it looks delicious. You can't tell me that don't look good. Here's the pompano. 